What is artificial intelligence? There are many definitions of artificial intelligence. Each organization, each author has their own. And over history, these definitions have changed a lot. One of the reasons for that is that one of the two components of artificial intelligence, the word intelligence, is very difficult to define. If I look at Wikipedia, which is a very nice place to look for definitions, I will read something like this. It is artificial because it is not human or it is not animal. And instead of defining it per se, we will just define some of the different ways in which it can be enacted. And we know that speech recognition, that vision, translations, and many other operations are part of artificial intelligence. But you can look and find really exciting definitions out there. There are two big families of AI, knowledge-based AI and data-based AI. Knowledge-based AI is the AI based on the knowledge which is shared typically by humans, and then programmers, computer scientists, are going to encode this uh, knowledge into programs, and this is what we will be using and interrogating when we use AI. Typically, this is also very often known as expert systems. On the other hand, we've got data-based AI, where it's data that is going to play the key part, and computer programs, known as machine learning programs, are going to transform that data into programs or sets of rules. Obviously, this distinction can be looser than it looks, and you can have a mixture of both, some knowledge and some data. Modern approaches will take both approaches simultaneously. Let's get back to knowledge-based AI. So a lot of activities of our so-called intelligence require planning, require reasoning, require problem solving, require heuristics, some special types of logics, solving complex situations. All these can be done through AI. Um, some of the experts believe that the right way to approach these problems is through what is called symbolic AI. Symbolic AI means that instead of just crunching numbers, we're going to try and organize concepts, idea, logical formula, in order to build um, intelligent algorithms. There are experts today who believe that even if data-based AI and numerical-based AI is uh, having the edge in the future, symbolic AI will become important. And one of the key reasons is that current AI technologies seem to be very expensive. In other words, the quantity of information a modern database AI needs to perform simple tasks is much larger than what a child needs. So perhaps we may not be using the best algorithms at this point. Data-based AI is the other approach. It's when we use data which has been collected over the web and this data can be then transformed through machine learning into um, programs. A key element here is that the data is represented through features, typically, so there is a description of the data allowing to extract the regularities that are needed to invent new rules or to uh, make future decisions. Let's have a look at the history of AI. Some will uh, say that AI was already present in the dreams of the writers of the 18th and 19th century, or perhaps even in the ideas of the ancient Greek. More traditionally, we will say that AI will be born with the initial ideas by Alan Turing, who was also extremely important in computer science. And in 1950, Alan Turing produces a paper where he discusses what an intelligent machine would be like. 1956 is the next key date. In 1956, some experts will meet up in a university in uh, North America and write out the agenda for the next few years of what artificial intelligence should achieve. And for years and years, these researchers and others have tried 
to build intelligent machines. These dreams have sometimes reached success, and in at least two occasions, they have reached what is called an AI winter, i.e. moments where the general public and also the people funding research started to disbelieve that AI could achieve anything important. A very important key day is 1997. This is when Garry Kasparov, the reigning world champion, was beaten by Deep Blue. Deep Blue was the first AI system to provably be better than a human at a really complex task, or at least a task that at that point we thought was very complex, which was the game of chess. And that was probably the moment where humanity started realizing that there was the possibility of having a machine more intelligent than man, even if then and today we were not capable of really understanding what being more intelligent meant. For over 40 years, symbolic de AI dominated the field, and the history of the more recent years is in fact the history of machine learning and then deep learning. To finish, let's have some thoughts about AI. Obviously, we would need much more thoughts and it is very interesting to notice that the community of philosophers are today reflecting a lot on the question of AI and the ethical implications. But at this point, just two things. The first one is the word intelligence is clearly misleading. It is difficult because we are not even sure of what intelligence means. From a negative point of view, you could think that the word intelligence is just moving as the machine itself is achieving tasks. In other words, something is regarded as intelligent until the machine is able to do it, and then we think, aha, intelligence has to be something else. On the more positive node, every time the machine manages to solve a task that until then we believe to be intelligent, that has obliged us humans to reflect again on what intelligence meant and what makes us unique. The second reflection at this point is that for about 60 years, the key task was that of solving the Turing test. In other words, the task of simulating intelligence. If you managed to build a machine that could let everyone else believe that they were not addressing a machine but a human, you had probably won and achieved the Turing test. Then for a few years we have forgotten about it. Some authors today, in April 2023, believe that the Turing test has been passed by the very latest generation of generative AIs. So there is also something to reflect there. What is the next goal of artificial intelligence?